see the bar supplies are out, so you know what that means. It means it's mixed drink time. And today we're gonna make a beer cocktail. I'm the craft beer drinking man, so I said, you know what? I need to get my ass on making some beer cocktails because I'm down with beer cocktails, you know? And as you know, I got Mexican family, so there's a lot of actually beer cocktails. You know, when you put lime or slam lime into a, into a Corona, that's a beer cocktail, sort of, because you're putting an adjunct into it after the fact when you've opened the beer. So, there's a lot of different types of sort of beer cocktails down in Mexico, and one of them is a michelada. This is a classic beer cocktail. So, how do we make michelada? We've got our ingredients here. We have Maggi sauce, which is sort of a sweet soy sauce. We have um, salsa picante, whatever kind of hot sauce you want. We have class, which is also called tajin, which is a powdered chili with salt and also lime and other spices mixed into it. We have lime wedges, ice, and today I've decided to use tecate. Whatever light Mexican lager that you feel that you want to use, that's what we use. So, let's get started. We take our glass here, and we're going to rim it with lime juice. Why are we going to rim it with lime juice? Well, because we're going to dredge it into our plate that we have poured out some of the class or Maggi, or, no, or sorry, class or tajin onto. So you see, lovely rim here on the glass. We're gonna move our plate to the side, put our glass front and center. So, real easy drink. In this, we have a couple dashes. I like to put this in first, then the ice and stuff, because the beer will mix it in real good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 shots of that that comes out in little dashes out of this bottle. You could also use Worcestershire sauce, but that's going to give it a bit different taste dimension. Now, we've got some hot sauce here. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 of each. Comes out in little dashes. Okay. Next, we've got about approximately two tablespoons or one ounce, one shot of fresh squeezed lime juice. I've saved you the tedium of pouring said lime juice. Now I'll give it a little swirl just to mix that. So we've got our liquid in the bottom ready to go, okay? So you check the color out and some folks like more of the Maggi flavor and some folks more like more hot sauce. I know I like a little more of the Maggi flavor so I'm gonna give it a couple extra. Ten, I had 10 before, 11, 12, and just go at it. So, there you go. How's that for exact measurements? So, I'll put the recipe down with the exact measurements and instructions in the notes section. So, here we go, we've got it. We're gonna put ice in. Yes, my hands are clean. Put it all in. Okay, got our ice, nice tall glass. We've got a bottle of Tecate today, which is just a light lager. Open her up. Yeah, it's a twist off, I know, but I don't do twist offs, you guys know that. So now we pour it gently. It's gonna fizz up. Pour it nice and slow and you'll watch it combine in the glass. The head will dissipate, you get a nice color. Now some folks like to, to mix it and some folks like to drink the flavor through the beer. See the head, This is the lager beers are good because the head dissipates really quick. Also once it comes in contact with the chile on the top, man that stuff goes down really fast. Keep filling it up here right to the brim. This is a 12 ounce bottle, by the way, guys. Look at that. That's a gorgeous drink. We've got our ice floating up at the top. And to make it look a little extra special and bar-like, we put a slice of lime on the side. And there you have it, michelada. So, salud, cheers, however you want to say it. Let's get a taste of this, see what we've got going on. Man, that's delicious and refreshing. You get the chili around the rim with the salt, the lager beer, and also your flavor down, comes down from the bottom. And as this sits and you fill off the rest of the beer, it all mixes together. And when you have this with food, it's absolutely delicious. So real simple, easy beer cocktail to make, guys. I like to keep it easy. Simple, low cost ingredients. I think all this together, if you make this one drink, would probably cost you $1.50 somewhere around there, maybe that. And in a restaurant, you're gonna pay six bucks. Make it yourself, save a little dough, and get a little buzz on. So until the next time, guys, thanks a million for watching. If you got any uh, mixed drink requests, let me know and I'll try to make it. So, I really appreciate each and every one of you watching. Until the next time, that's a big peace out.